Today, we will talk about an American artist known for his realistic, highly detailed painted fantasy, pin-up and cover illustrations in the comic book industry. He contributed to the boom in trading cards in the 90s with work on Marvel Masterpieces trading cards as well as hundreds of interior and cover illustrations. Joe Josko was born on September 1, 1959 on the Lower East Side of New York City, the son of a construction worker and a homemaker. His first artistic inspiration was the drawings of his older brother, Danny. Later, he would discover the works of John Buscema, which would leave a mark on his mind, and since then, he knew what direction his life would take. He started drawing constantly, trying to emulate the artist he admired. In high school, his 8th grade teacher urged him to take the entry exam for art and design in the only vocational high school in the country with a curriculum geared toward a career in commercial art. Formerly known as the School of Industrial Arts, it boasts outstanding alumni such as Neil Adams, Dick Giordano, Joseph Rubenstein, Mark Teixeira, Jimmy Palmiotti, and many others. In this school, he learned the necessary fundamentals that gave him a modicum of professionalism to his work. Joe graduated with the DC Comics Excellence in Cartooning Award, so he decided to forego attending college and directly explore the professional field. This decision later cost him mixed feelings. According to him, a few more years of formal education would have avoided some of the headaches he had at the beginning of his career. A chance meeting in a New York comic book store with artist Howard Shaking, a well-known comic book artist who had already worked with major publishers, led to a five-month apprenticeship, during which time Joe sold his first cover to the famous heavy metal magazine. Joe had the following to say about this experience. I would have given them the cover to print, but I gladly accepted the 250 they paid me. After many published works in heavy metal, Joe contacted Rick Marshall, who was the magazine editor at Marvel Comics. He gave him the opportunity to do the cover for Star-Lord, and according to Joe Josco himself, it is one of his worst works. He say about it. Honestly, I got lucky in that I broke in at a time when there weren't a lot of guys doing painted work in comics. If I tried to break in today with the same amount of accomplishment, I showed them I wouldn't get any work. Even though Joe didn't like his cover, Marvel thought it was good enough not only to call him back, but from that moment on, he started a career at Marvel that had spawned decades. Joe has painted every major character Marvel has ever created, as well as a long stint as one of the main cover artists for the Savage Sword of Conan. But one of the Joe Jusco most remembered works was the images he created for Marvel Masterpieces, a series of trading cards. The first set which came out in 1992, consisted entirely of portraits painted by him, depicting characters and events from Marvel Comics. Besides this trading card set, he painted the 1995 art of Edgar Rice Burroughs trading cards. His work also was featured in the 1996 car set Fleer's Ultra X-Men Wolverine cards, as well as Conan the Barbarian and Vampirella trading card sets. In addition to his work at Marvel over the years, Joe has produced art for many other companies and characters, including DC Comics, Crusade Comics, Innovation Comics, Harris Comics, Wildstorm Comics, 
and Top Cow Productions, among many others. He has produced storyboard for ad agency and advertising campaigns for such a notable client as the World Wrestling Federation, where he designed the art for the Royal Rumbles and WrestleMania. In the mid 2000s, he worked on a fully painted graphic novel based on Lara Croft, which won a certificate of merit from the Society of Illustrators into which he was inducted in. In April 2022, Josco was reported among the more than three dozen comics creators who contributed to Operation USA's benefit anthology book, Comics for Ukraine, Sunflower Seeds, a project whose profit would be donated to relief efforts for Ukrainian refugees resulting from the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. He commented about it. As a third-generation Ukrainian-American whose grandmother had her entire lineage erased during World War II, I am honored to contribute to this most important endeavor. Of course, with such an amount of high-quality work, he was awarded several times, including two favorite painter Wizard Fan Awards, Multiple Trading Cards Awards, and Golden Lion Award for the Burro Bibliophile Prize that was also awarded to Fran Frasera and Boris Vallejo. It is no coincidence that his name appears alongside great names in illustration. Joe Josko's style is worthy heir to outstanding artists in his field who preceded him. His hyper-realistic style has brought to life iconic characters in popular culture and has led to fantasy worlds to the public that has enjoyed his talent. <laughs>